Applications are now open for a new program in South Carolina that's designed to help thousands of families send their children to private school. And it's paid for using public tax dollars. Our state house reporter Mary Green has the details from Charleston. This program, known as the Education Scholarship Trust Funds, ESAs, or perhaps more commonly known as the School Voucher Program, is the largest expansion of school choice in South Carolina history. I caught up with one of its lead supporters, State Superintendent Ellen Weaver, as she made a stop here at Orange Grove Elementary Charter School in Charleston on Monday to mark National School Choice Week. There are so many instances that we can think of where it's really critical that we give parents the power that they need to get their child the education environment that they need. This program will award scholarships worth $6,000 each to up to 5,000 students. To be eligible this first year, their family income must be limited to 200% of the federal poverty level, about $62,000 for a family of four. Families that make more will be eligible in future years, when up to 15,000 scholarships will be available. They can spend this money on tuition at private schools or public schools that are outside their home district and charge tuition, plus Plus related costs. But the program is facing a legal challenge from parents, the NAACP and the South Carolina Education Association. They claim it violates the state constitution. Those supporters have said they believe the program will be upheld at the South Carolina Supreme Court. Well, our constitution is very clear that says you should not um, allocate our public tax dollars to private or religious schools. We just don't think it's right. I mean, we think it's a violation of the Constitution, and I think at some point you have to stand up for what you what you believe is right. The application process closes March 15th, just a little over a week after the state Supreme Court is set to hear arguments in that lawsuit. These scholarships are awarded on a first come first serve basis, so Weaver says she recommends any families who are interested apply as early as they can. Reporting in Charleston, I'm Mary Green. Applications are now open through the South Carolina Department of Education's website.